From the main screen of the Mate 3, select Lock. Use the wheel to put in your password of 141. Press the center of the wheel to lock in that password. Make sure that Settings is highlighted and press the center of the wheel to select it. Scroll the wheel to select Mate 3. Press the center of the wheel. Make sure Advanced Generator Start is highlighted and press the center of the wheel to select it. With Setup highlighted, press the center of the wheel. Press the center of the wheel to select AGS Enabled. Use the wheel to choose Yes. Press the center of the wheel to lock in your choice. Use the wheel to highlight Port. Press the center button to select Port Number. Use the wheel to choose your port number. The port number should coincide with the port number on the hub that you have the inverter plugged into. For instance, if you are using your master inverter's auxiliary port to control AGS, this number would be 1 because your master inverter should be in port 1 of the hub. If you do not have a hub in the system and your mate is plugged directly into the inverter, this number should be 0. Press the center button to lock in your choice. Use the wheel to select fault time. Press the center button to select fault time minutes. Use the wheel to adjust this time. 17 minutes is a good number to leave this at. This is the amount of time allowed between the inverter telling the generator to turn on and the system not sensing AC power. If after 17 minutes the system does not sense AC power from the generator, your system will display a fault. You can change this to be anywhere from 6 to 30 minutes. Press the center button to lock in your choice. Use the wheel to highlight warm up time. Press the center button to select warm up time. Use the wheel to adjust your generator warm up time. Warm up time can be programmed to be anywhere from 0 to 30 minutes. Check with your generator manufacturer to see what the optimal warm up time for your particular generator would be. This number must be less than the AGS fault time, otherwise, your system will fault. Press the center button to lock in your choice. Use the wheel to highlight cooldown time. Press the center button to select cooldown time. Use the wheel to adjust your generator cooldown time. Cooldown time can be programmed to be anywhere from 0 to 30 minutes. Check with your generator manufacturer to see what the optimal cooldown time for your particular generator would be. If you're not sure, leave it at 0 for now. Press the center button to lock in your choice. Use the wheel to highlight DC generator. If your generator is a DC generator, press the center button and adjust the option to say yes. If your generator is an AC generator, you can select top twice to get back to the main screen as you are done with AGS setup. If you have a DC generator, continue to absorb time. Press the center button to select absorb time. Use the wheel to adjust absorb time to your battery manufacturer's suggestion. Press the center button to lock in your choice. Use the wheel to highlight DC absorb voltage. Press the center button to highlight D voltage. Use the wheel to adjust your absorb voltage to your battery manufacturer's suggestion. Press the center button to lock in your choice. You can now press top twice to get back to the main screen and you are all done.